Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Hey everybody, it's time to get close to you. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Dr. Willie Jolly and this is my beautiful bride. And we're the authors of the book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last. 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage. Available at jollymarriage.com. Right now, go get your copy. Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Year. And it's a great new year. It's time to soar in 2024. And so we've been off for two weeks, two Monday nights. And each week we were busy. Last Monday night we did a Kwanzaa event. And a week and a Monday night before that was Christmas. And we had house full. And I did not have to cook. And she didn't have to cook. So we had a great time. Hope y'all all had a wonderful holiday. We certainly did. And we are glad you're here. We wanted, before we get started, to talk about making sure people knew about the importance of goals. And we're excited about our goal setting, goal getting program. It's the first of the year. And, and married couples can, you know, Damon John said that one of the sexiest things he and his wife do every year, set goals. So it's the beginning of the year. Yeah. People say, okay, I will try again. Whatever I didn't do last year and I should have done, I'm going to try it this year. Okay, what is that? Um, uh, Cheryl, we'll talk about this. There's a free session spot for the team viewer, a free of charge for personal years. Okay. 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 So at the beginning of the year, people say, I'll try again. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they do something called resolutions, which we say don't work. Because resolutions don't smart. work. I've been doing television all the first week of uh, January. No resolution so they, do, they don't have any power. So you want to do goals. Goals. And we call the word golding. Why? Because I-N-G is the actual word. So golding refers to making your goal smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. And that gives you a running and a head start. So if you, you walk, you're to, walking. If you talk, you're talking. If you run, you're running. If you're taking action on the goals, you're goaling. You're That's goaling. She, came, she came up with that. She's smart. So you can go to willyjolly.com slash goal link. And there's information there and some programs there. Take advantage of it, everybody. Yes. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Okay. So that's first. Mm-hmm. We want to say happy uh, new year. Second, we hope you had a great holiday. Third, we want to make sure you know about the goal link. And fourth is that we are... Uh, I want to talk about some new, we want to remember, remind you to send us your issues, your concerns about relationships. Or or questions that you might have. Or questions. So here's something that came across our desk that was very- It's a delicate issue. Yep. And they asked that we respond to it. Okay. I'll take on it. I'll take on it. So this was the issue. It was from, it came to us, and the person said it was from YouTube. That's how it came to them, and then it came to us. Okay. And this person talked about eight ways she uses to avoid sex with her husband. <laughs> eight ways. She she had eight ways. On social media. I don't know. To avoid, to and, 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 and talked about it, and it came to us, is this a good idea? So we're going to give you no. the eight ways. <laughs> Hello, Karen, so, so, Harry. So, so here's Thank some of you the for things that she talked about. Harry, Harry, eight, yeah. Eight ways to avoid having sex with your husband. Not me, but the person from the internet, from YouTube. I, I would not, Wee. if I was thinking it, I would not have put it out there. Now her husband knows. Mm-hmm. I'm cramping. Mm. That means I'm on my period and I'm, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm exhausted. Yeah, she said, when you're exhausted, don't say you're exhausted and then do a TikTok dance, you know, when he's not around, you know. Be actually tired. Anyway. Uh, but, but the first one, she said, 
things to say to avoid having sex. So, so, so as far as I'm concerned, none of it's really none, true. None of it's I'm real, cramping, real true. Right. I'm exhausted. I'm sick. I just don't feel good. That's number three. I'm sick. I mm -hmm. don't feel good. I might have a flu. Okay, you know, you pissed me off earlier today, so I'm still pissed off. When he, when she said, when she is mad at him, he know ain't nothing gonna happen that night. Go ahead. Number I got five. To, I got to finish this thing I started. I don't know what that is. Well, she was doing some project and she got to finish it. She's busy. Okay. 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 Number I'm, six. I'm going to let the baby sleep with us tonight. The baby in the bed with us. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Wake me up when you get in. And she knows, that he knows that it's hard to wake her up when she is in the dead sleep. Mm -hmm. And number hand, eight. Hand me the blanket, the comfort blanket for sleep. But she, he, she says, when she gets the comfort blanket, he knows it's all over. She just trying to go to bed, go to sleep. So my, we, when we both got this, we both when we we got it separately. When we got the email with this. We were we were not it together. Was, it was we were in different locations. Right, I was actually in a yoga class, and wherever you were, you were doing something else. And we both and responded think, immediately the same way. I, yeah. I responded and said, this is totally stupid. Stupid. <laughs> and I think you responded after me and said, I agree. And just, but I I, I, I got to look at, I, I got, I agree, but I also agree from another perspective. Mm -hmm. She, she said it was stupid. I said it was stupid primarily on the man's part. Hmm. Now she, she's reacting, you know, every action is a, there's some action. That, there's a reaction, a cause and effect. That's what I wanted to do. So what I have said, we said it in the book. We said it in the book that men need to understand women. Women need two things, gentlemen. And I go back to what we say in the book about the chapter on sex. Women need two things. And if you had these two things, these eight points would never come into play. Women need intimacy. And security, intimacy, that, that warm feeling that they get inside. I think you need to break it down some more because you say that, but I don't think many uh, people get it. If so, we wouldn't be getting the kind of questions and comments that we get. Okay, okay? So, I don't I don't really think. All right, so, so break it down then. You, uh, so when you say intimacy, it doesn't mean to tap on the shoulder and gap your legs open. That, that is not that, what oh, we are getting ready means. to get to that. Man, uh, it, it's man, taking a long time. Man, you can't come up there at, at, after not saying nothing all day and come and say, you ready? You ready? That ain't, that ain't gonna work. That's, number one. Then they, is, get, they get defense mechanisms. There. Number one is communication. Yes. And communication is not just verbal. Mm. It, it is the body language. It is how you, you touch and respond to each other. It's the gentleness. It's the sound of your voice. It's all of those things that make a woman, because it's first mental, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's mental. So for this, this woman here who has all of the excuses for not having sexual intimacy with, with her husband, there's a breakdown first in communication. Right. Because she's not interested. Right. If she's not interested, then that means the vaginal area is probably dry. Ooh. So it's a com you know, it's a combination of things, which means it's probably I don't know all of those uh, okay, I'm just saying, let's, just, let's just break it down and tell the truth. Tell the truth. She is not interested because he has not made it appealing to her to be interested. Uh. And now there's a lack of communication and they built up this wall so now she's got excuses. She got eight excuses. She she got she got eight excuses she developed so that she can because it because he comes up at the last moment. You ready? You ready? You ready? Well, yeah. we, but we don't know that. Well, we well, we can say uh, if he did his homework. What did I tell men? I, I just did a men's conference not long ago, and I told men, men, listen carefully. If you want some action at night. You got to start in the morning. And we need to give some suggestions as to what that means. Send him, obviously, send them a text message. Who, you who, look so who good. Grew I up love in you. Households where they never saw love and affection of their parents, couples, 
or significant others. Yeah. So to say we <coughs> start in the morning, they might not have a clue as to what that means. You're right. Okay. You're right. So it's how you talk to me. Now the question I, I in my head is, well, if, if you're so turned off and got all these excuses because you don't you don't want to be intimate, sexually intimate with, with your mate, how'd you end up marrying him in the first place? Well, I know that's an aside. That's an aside. But it, that made me think about that too. Well, people get married and going back. Go back to chapter number one. All kinds of reasons. All okay. kinds of reasons. Okay, so now you're in it. Now you're in it, and and he wants to get sex. So, and if you don't give it to him, you're also aware that he can find it someplace else. Hello, chapter number eight. So, do you want your mate to find pleasure someplace else? Why don't you both? Pleasure each other. Never tell that lie you got a headache. When you tell that lie you got a headache, there's a woman somewhere with an aspirin in her pocket. Okay, so let me go so to some to some <laughs> so um, okay. Give me some, some stuff. Some, so so let me some, let me make sure I, I we got clear. We <coughs> both think it's stupid, the whole thing. That this lady would have eight reasons and actually communicated in social media as to how to avoid having sex with her. And we think that the man, and I say the man must take the onus to make sure he gives intimacy and security. Then he doesn't have to come up at the last minute and deal with the eight, let, the, the, it deal with the eight uh, excuses. And he don't want to come up there, you, you ready, you ready? No, that ain't how it works, brothers. If you want, look, remember this, men. Men are microwave ovens. Push the button, they're ready. But women are crop pots. They gotta warm up. So you gotta give them time to warm up. You gotta say something in the morning. Oh, you look so good. I can't wait to come home and, and kiss and hug you. Uh, you gotta send her a note during the day, a text message. Oh, you, all, all I've been doing all day long is thinking about you. I love you so much. I mean, you got to work it, man. And sometimes you have to write it down. If you have had no prior history of really understanding what it takes to be soft and tender with uh, your your maid, then you need to do some homework, do some research. You need to get some mentors. With, yes, mentors. Where where they will tell you the truth, right? Because there's a lot of lies out here. Well, there's a lot of misconceptions too. Remember that part of um, the old mindset. I'm just Johnny B. Be rock 'em sock 'em. That's all I do is rock 'em sock 'em. And that's but that part, does not that, mean that the female is getting satisfied. That's right. So that's part two. The communication piece says you talk to each other, you study each other until you understand what turns each other on. Yes. And so your goal is always to be the one who's giving. So you're always giving. So if you're always giving and I'm always giving, then it becomes that nice cycle where you're loving on each other. I love it. Okay. Okay. Now I know you got research. Okay. Does that so, make sense to everybody? Chat, chat it out in the chat if that makes sense to you. So I wanted to uh, we're share. We're tracking right. So I wanted to share some uh, information and I did some Google stuff as well as some other things that I've read. And this is the most recent research from the Journal of Sex Research. You know, they got a journal for everything. There's a journal called Journal of Sex Research. And in 2011, they found that about 25% of women reported having fake orgasms. <laughs> they have fake, well, why do you need a fake orgasm? Well, you, is that like them, Harry Met Sally? Yes. Oh. Like, like in the movie, because because Harry said, "Nah, I, I would know it." And then then the the lady Sally started moaning and groaning, and it was so funny because the lady next to her said, oh, I'm, "I'm having what she's having." <laughs> but the idea oh. here is that uh, fake orgasms are something. So they they do. are a not as uncommon as most people might right, think. Right. And so, and so, so what are some motivate? Why would you want to? Why would you want to have a fake orgasm? Because you want to get it over with. Because, Because you want to get it over with. It's kind of like a quickie. Mm. You, you want to get it over with. Mm. Okay. Or you might have performance anxiety. Mm. Hmm. Okay. 
or you there are concerns about how do I satisfy am I satisfying my partner? We're gonna talk about that next week because we got a or, or upcoming, we got mm -hmm. a great point from our dear friend Terrence uh that talks about communication and satisf satisfaction. Mm. Mm. And communication issues. Maybe that's what the Journal of Sex Research um pointed out. But it's interesting to note that one of the top reasons is the lack of communication. So if you don't know how to question, to talk, if you don't really know how to interact, and then to open up and be vulnerable, all those other things, you're going to have performance anxiety. You're going to have, am I satisfying my partner? Well, mm. you don't know if you're satisfying your partner because they might be faking it. Mm. Or you don't know because you haven't studied them and you don't know what their needs are. Mm. Or you didn't ask them. Right. And some people don't want to. It, it becomes complicated. When we say it's a delicate issue, it becomes complicated because people have so many personal issues going on. How did they see love when they were growing up in their household or did they not see it at all? Stacy says, yes, we're right on. I, I thank you. Oh, um, Great. Oh, love uh, was Karen, just... I don't see your comment. It didn't come through. Karen, Harry, uh, we post a con for Karen. Or love was, was just sex. Hmm. So, so, you know, it really does, it really is complicated. I thought that was very interesting. So, and so wait a minute, this research. Ho, ho, this part, part two. What? So we talked about the woman avoid, and now we're talking about fake orgasms, because that's part of this, this conversation. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And that happens. Yeah. And then because sometimes you need to, you say you need to get it over with. Mm, if you're not enjoying it. Wow. Wow. And he and, and he doesn't know because she's faked it so well. Wow. There's a lot of research on that, isn't it? It's surprising. It's surprising. Thank God we ain't got that problem. Because I <laughs> yes, love you. Yes, dear. Let's stay on target. You look good this morning. Thank you look good all day. Thank you. He never knows what I have on because he's sound asleep when I leave home and go to yoga. But so I say I miss food. you. I say I he love does. you. Is she going out? So factors such as comfort, comfortable being close to your partner, and being willing to share that which is vulnerable. Mm. The more the more the more you share, the more intimacy. You have not just physical intimacy, right. emotional. It, it's, intimacy. it's a vulnerability that says, I'm comfortable and I trust you mm. to handle my heart. Mm. That, that's oh, that's powerful. good. That's good. That's good? good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. And, commun and, and communication influences the sexuality. Mm. Mm. Right? Yeah, because we, we talked it over with our team today, and one of our team members said, <laughs> that, she said, that was my life when I was married. She's divorced. She said, you know, my relationship was, I find an excuses not to have sex with him. And then- So you didn't talk? Well, and, no, you know what? I also think that one of the reasons for lack of communication is not knowing how to say what you're feeling. And because some men, like we, we did a program one time- oh, a church event. Church. The lady said to me, she had married somebody who was a widow. Or right. Is that a male? A widower. Mm -hmm. A widower. A widower. Mm -hmm. And she, an older woman who had who had been celibate. Mm. And she, she said afterwards, when happened? It wasn't well. She didn't say it quite like that. Mm. But he basically said, "I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. You don't know nothing." Now. Rather than saying, think, let's communicate, what can I, I do? I think that it speaks to his insecurity. Yeah, well, you know, I told you, it goes back to the old way of thinking. Men say, I'm the big ball of the shot caller. I make it happen. I know what I'm doing in the bedroom. And that he, is so sad. And he, you know, but that's. And probably wherever they learned it from, they lied to. <laughs> in a trouble. Okay. Uh, 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 I don't know if this is a proper question for your topic, but a friend of mine asked me to ask you how to keep a new love burning hot for years after that first love. 
Oh, you know what? We still, that's a great question. That's a great question. Yeah. And the answer is something we can tell you. We've been married for going on 40 years. I still am hot for her. I still got the hot for her. We keep it fresh. We talk okay, to each so other. We, we talk about sex. We run to the bedroom. So I say, this is what I want to do tonight. Woohoo! And you know what? It comes down to, because I admit he's much more loving. Romantic, maybe. Okay, much more romantic and a touchy feely than I was. She used to wasn't, but she now. Then I was. She touchy feely now. Because of his, how he talks to me and how he makes me feel, I decided, because everything is a decision, that I wanted to make him feel like how he made me feel. Ooh, Does that make sense? I love it. And that, that's because, so, and, and so, so, yes, you can keep it going for we, 30, 40, then, 50 years, then we work 60 at it. years. So that's how what do you do on. that? So you talk about it, and also you you have to hold hands. Yeah, we hold hands. That's a good one. Big important. Hold and does it hands. Cost the same. So we hold hands wherever we are. We're, we're together. We, are. we hold hands. But we when you hold hands, hands, you're not just holding hands. You're holding hearts. Mm -hmm. All right. You keep the Heart romance going. We got a whole chapter in the book about how to keep the romance going. And you figure out, and that's very different for each person. How to say that thing that is uncomfortable for you. Like, he talks for a living. He can talk and think at the same time. I cannot do that. I am going to mull it over for a while. And sometimes with all the mulling over of what I think I want to say, I might never get it off. Mm -hmm. So I had to consciously say, okay, here's my challenge. I want him to know how much I care. This is, oh, I like it when he does that. But. How does he know I like it if I don't tell him? Right, right, right. So it's not across dinner when we cuddle in bed. I would say, well, you know, I kind of like it when you do it, when you touch me like this. Mm. Or when you do, we're not doing it now. So oh, oh, we're not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I would start to talk about that. So it's a gradual thing. And then we laugh a lot. We laugh. My son, when he was living here, uh, used to say, <laughs> Y'all in there laughing all the time. Y'all giggling all the time. We literally do. Okay. So, yes, That's Emmanuel, I highly I recommend that you share the book with your friend. We got a whole chapter on keeping the romance mm -hmm. fresh and new. Mm -hmm. It works. And oh, a date night. A date you night. You date got night. to have a date night especially, every night. I mean, every week. Especially when you have little children that suck. They'll suck all your air, all your time, everything out your life. You got to have a date night. You don't have to spend any money. It's you don't just... have to send them off to somebody because you have to be very careful as to who takes care yeah, of the yeah. little ones when they can't talk. Right. When we put them in bed, we will set a time. And that nine o'clock. Nine, nine o'clock at night. And we Thursday still night. have that same nine o'clock at night. And no children here no night. more, but we still have a date night every night. Mm -hmm. Now, we only here by ourselves. We, we do everything together. Every night we're together. But we intentional, have an intentional time for date night. Have been doing that for over 35 years. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and, and, it and it keeps it forward. fresh. And we look forward to it. So yeah. we don't have to spend, we don't have to spend we money. Have to and spend why do penny. we want Right. We watch our favorite show. We sit talk and talk. about what we read because we also read a lot of books. Yeah. It's part of what we have to do. But we share. We don't have a great we, idea. And, and, and during that time, you can't talk about the kids. You can't talk about the business. You can't talk about the money. You talk about the things that brought you together in the first part. And you keep the romance going. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, uh, mm -hmm. so highly recommend that. Oh, you might say, you know what? Like, it's humorous. Like, sometimes it might be, well, we have a make fun with Bully about the use of Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> because all of them, my son, my brother-in-law, my wife, they say, you know, you need to put more. He likes being ashy. Let's just say. I, I don't have a problem with being ashy, okay? I don't got no so, problem. So, so that's humorous. So, so they I'm make like... they all make fun. So I had to get some, so my foot was I had to go see the podiatrist because I had some a cracked heel. My heel got cracked. And the podiatrist said, it needs some oil. So I buy this oil. So what's it called? What's it called? Emollient. So uh, it's Vaseline. But 
the Vaseline, a gigantic jar I got cost $6,095. His emollient cost $65. It's so, special. So, so we we need to have And they laughed. That. My wife laughed about like, your emollient. You, you, would, you wouldn't listen to me. Yeah. I said, put Vaseline all over your body. No. He's got to spend $65 to have to die. I just tell him the same thing. No, the <laughs> emollient costs $65. I'm just saying, we, we see the humor in some of the silly things we do. We do. And we can laugh with each other. Yep. And so I want to say to everybody, one, that these eight points should are, never and should not never should not die. be necessary. They should not be necessary. Gentlemen, start if you want action at night, start working on it in the morning. Remember, women are crock pots. They slowly heat up. Okay, so take your time. So, so it's a mutual, and I was like, it's a mutual thing. Yeah, and you communicate. But this coming up at night, you ready? You ready? That ain't the answer, gentlemen. And That's it's okay. No, no. It is. It is good if the woman initiates. Yes, women can initiate. Women, the old time thinking that the men got always here's, initiate. Here's the thing. No, in some cases, men can become intimidated. They gotta so get over all, that. Uh, you, you, all, I'm not intimidated when you know, but, when you but initiate. See, but, but honey, you see, I mean, but they gotta you, get over that. You chased after somebody who was your teacher. That's a whole different ball game. Your mental your mental thinking is completely different. You, you can't even go there. <laughs> I am saying that you want to not emasculate your your male partner. So how do you do that? So, you got to tell them. If you're going to bring that up, you okay, got to tell okay. them how to do so it. So you have to be sensitive. You have to study them. What are the words and phrases that kind of make them cringe? What are the phrases and words that make them You got to be like Eddie, Gr Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Murphy out. playing a grandmama in the, in the crumps where she said, he make me, he make me. <laughs> <laughs> he make me. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for him, and, and she. He and, make me wet. Is what you're saying. Now she had a, a phrase for it though. She makes me not wet. She didn't say. She said it was a different, but same difference. Mm -hmm. But she was the aggressor. Okay, so grandma was the aggressor because she knew what she is, was trying to get hold of. You have to study your mate and figure out what will push his right button. Yes, and, right. and what 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 our team member said today, it all comes down to communication. It all comes it all back comes back to communication. to communication. That's why we give away the chapter on communication. Give away the chapter on the communication. Well, let me let me add this before we run out. We're, we're out. we're out of time. This whole thing about intimacy and sex is powerful. Hmm. In the AARP. Mm. You know, AARP magazine is for those who are 50 and older, right? Right. My position is everybody in the world should have AARP magazine. They should have membership. Now. They should have membership. You can be 18 years of age. Yeah, they, they are, you can get membership and you get all sorts of deals, okay? Yes. Okay. This is 70s. Sex in the 70s. This month's issue. Come on now. I, See, that's right. I love it. Sex in the 70s. We need to talk about it. Uh -huh. we, got, we ain't got time. We're going to oh. do a whole show on that. Sex in the 60s, 70s, 80s. No, no, no. It says specifically sex I know, but, uh, in the age of 70 and older. All right. We'll, we'll do a show okay. on that. So our time right. is up. Okay. And then think about how you should or could seduce your mate. Mm. I have this book. See, I read all this stuff. This is a cool book because I'm working on information because I think women should have um, like a weekend and talk about how to seduce their mates. How to be influential. Right. There's this great book. And the book is entitled The Art of Seduction mm. by Robert Green with an E on the end. Mm. And it all starts here in the mind. Okay. All right. We and got to go. Finally, Indeed, we were over Prevention to Magazine. Now, Prevention Magazine talks about health, <laughs> talks about health, but they do a great job of peeling back the onion and just, just discussing sex and everything in a very clinical fashion. We can very talk about, put those on next week's show. We got to go. Okay. Hope y'all enjoyed it. 
We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Hope to see y'all next week. Happy New Year again. If you have not set your goals or you need help, go to willyjolly.com slash goaling. G-O-A-L-I-N-G. It's the act of setting the goal. We'll it help you. will help you focus for the year. They'll make you to better. Set your smart goals that you can then check off. As no, you no resolutions. Set goals. The goaling class is fabulous and you'll enjoy it. Willyjolly.com slash goaling. Do it now. And also, make sure you go to winwithwilly.com. Get all new books, all the new things we got. And if you're not on my newsletter, make sure you sign up for the newsletter because we got a lot of good stuff coming. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a big year. Hey, we got to go. So hope y'all had a great time with us as we had a great time with you. We got Thank that. you for joining us. See y'all later. Here we go. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you.